I'm Joseph J. McAllister, and welcome to my show. Today's episode is a special Christmas edition of my alternative process workshop. Today we're going to be drinking coffee and making prints. Today's episode is red camellio types. Let's watch the show. So what we're going to be making today is red camellio types. We're going to be toning blue glass anotypes to a deep red color. To do this we're going to use a toning bath based on the principles of John Mercer's iron mordant toning process. We'll need a tray of distilled water and two packets of cherry Kool-Aid. Now submerge the plate and wait four to eight hours, checking the plate every four hours. Remove the plate. Then dip it in some distilled water for a few seconds. Fan dry. Part of what makes the toning work is that the cherry Kool-Aid is a bit acidic. I tried red food coloring as well, but I got very poor results. So let's check the pH of the toning bath with some hydrian test strips. These test strips come in a roll of sensitized test paper. First let's try our control group using a white strip of paper. The dye seems to have very little effect on the paper. Now let's try our experimental group, the pH test strip. Our test strip indicates a pH level of 2. According to our scale, the toning bath qualifies as a strong acid. As you can see here, one packet of Kool-Aid creates a pH of 3. We're using two packets of Kool-Aid and considerably less water than recommended. So it's very possible that this is an accurate reading. So let's take a look at a couple test plates that I did. So I'm getting some really beautiful images out of this process. So I think I'm going to experiment some more with this red toning bath and see what I can create. Something very interesting about these glass nanotypes is the extremely high resolution that they're capable of capturing. There's some really amazing resolution in these plates that were made with digital negatives. And when I'm using film negatives, I get even higher resolution. It's very interesting that this process can take blue glass nanotypes all the way to the other end of the color spectrum. So today's experiment was a success and now we can use it to make red glass nanotypes. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video and be sure to share, like, and subscribe to keep up with my latest tutorials.